Okay, so in this video, I'm going to try to show, or I'm going to show you how to use multiple class files. So, of course, you could write all your code in one class file, but that's rather inefficient, and it would be a really long class file. If you ever wanted to go edit something, it would take you quite a while to go find it. So, basically, basically the easiest way to do this is, of course, we're going to press this button up here and it just creates a new java class file we're going to name it i don't know um let's name it fred so you can see eclipse automatically put package net dot java basics which in here text based game src net dot java basics so it's our package and then it created this for us too so unlike in our mees class we don't need to put public static void main in here. Instead, we can just put methods that we want to use out of it. So, like in the earlier videos, when I was explaining methods, we're going to use this to achieve the same thing. We're going to print out first and last name, but we're going to do it through a different class. So, we're going to create the same things as before. String. Also, you don't. You, you may have noticed I'm not putting static here. Don't worry about that. Um, that's for a later video because it's it's not that hard to explain. But when you, actually, it's just not that hard to explain. But it's not important for right now because we're not going to be using it. Name or get first name. So if you remember this from before, it gets the first name and last name and then prints them out. Why did I do that? Okay. An s a string name equals s dot next and return name. And the error that was up here, jo uh, Eclipse decided it would do it for me automatically. You have to import the scanner, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, and as before, we're going to do this. We're going to have also, we're going to get last name. The thing that I forgot to do on both of these. I'm lazy, so I'm just going to copy and paste that. Okay. So, you have that, and then. What we have to do, um, let's do this too. Public void print name. Or actually, no, let's call it say hi. String first name, string second name. If you don't remember how to go do this, go watch the video again. Okay, so that's pretty much basically all the. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Last name, not second name. So it's the same thing as we had before, but it's all in a different class file. So, we can't simply go print name. Or, we can't get simply go string s equals uh, get first name. We can't do this anymore because this method is not in this class file. Instead what we have to do is as with the scanner we have to create a Fred object. So Fred F equals new Fred. And we just do an empty thing like this. We put Fred and then empty parentheses because we don't have a constructor which I will also explain later but we just basically we're creating a new Fred object. So, now that we have a new Fred object, we can access everything inside the Fred class. So, now what we can do is we're going to set string first equal to Fred 
dot get first name. So yeah, so our Fred object. So it goes in here, and now we're in here, and we're calling this get first name. So it's the same as before, but now it's coming out of a se separate class file. And then we're gonna do the same thing for last string last equals Fred dot get last name. What I did there is I press control space and it gives me the possible options for that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna call f dot say hi. I'm gonna pass in first, I'm gonna pass in last. So, just to prove that this works, we have enter your first name. Bob Freddy. Hi Bob Freddy. So, yeah, it's the same thing as before, except all this is in a separate class file. So now, whatever we have in here, we have to create a Fred object to use anything out of here. And then, that is uh, pretty self-explanatory, because this object can access all of these methods that we created. So, we're just... Uh, calling the get first name method. If you double click, no. Um, I forgot how to do it, but basically calls that, and then calls this, and then it says f dot say hi. So Fred, the Fred class, and say hi, your first name and your last name. That is the basics of using another class. If you don't understand something, please leave a comment about it. If you have suggestions for what I need, should cover next, also leave a comment on that. If you like the video, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.